Hey everyone, we are here with Luisa Blanco and Macari Doggett. For both of you, this upcoming Friday is your senior night and the last meet at home in Coleman Coliseum for this year. What are your emotions heading into this Friday? I just have so much gratitude. I have no idea how it's going to like pan out um, just because the juniors have this tradition of, you know, kind of commemorating our careers here. So it's going to be a lot of emotion, but um, yeah, just soaking it all in one last time. Yeah. It's surreal, really. I mean, feels like we just got here, but it also feels like we've been here forever. So, you know, soaking in every moment. Let's start with Katie. For both of you, just what has um, this senior year been like? You've both had some highs, both had tens this year. It's been under a new coach. Um, so just kind of what has overall this senior season been like for y'all so far? I think one word to kind of just describe it all is growth. Like you said, we have a new coaching staff this year, and it's been it's been amazing being able to grow um, as seniors leading this new team and um, taking it all for for what it is, you know, um, the good, the bad, and just growing from it every day um, and taking in every moment, not focusing on the outcome, but just focusing on having fun because, you know, that's when we do our best. Yeah. <laughs> Um, for both of y'all, the last three home meets in Coleman Coliseum, we've had over 11,000 people here. Can you just talk about what that has been like and what you're looking forward to for the last meet at home this season? Yeah, obviously the fans are a huge part of, you know, why we do what we do and how we do it. Um, we feed off of their energy, and it means the world to us that everybody's starting to come and see what we've been, you know, working on for so long. But, yeah, they make the difference, and... We love all of them. <laughs> yeah. Katie? You talked about there being like a lot of growth this year. How was last week's meet with, um, you know, having to count a fall for the first time in a while? I don't know if like wake up call is the right word, but um, maybe a good thing for the team to kind of refocus heading into this final stretch. I think the important thing to note is that I think we're going on week eight now and um, we don't need to be peaking by any means, but um, like you said, it's a, it's a, what we like to call like a growth initiative and taking it for what it is and not dwelling so much on the things we did bad, but the things that we can improve on and um, using that to motivate us uh, going into the postseason. We talked a lot about, um, you know, growing our confidence and just finding that within ourselves again, but like she said, I mean, stuff happens. Um, we're human. Um, people make mistakes, but by no means does that, you know, bring us down at all because, you know, we're just going up from here. Juliet, How are y'all feeling both um, mentally and physically? I know, Louisa, you didn't compete on two events. Coach said that she wanted to keep you fresh. And then, Makari, I know that you competed in the all-around earlier this season, but um, some of the announcers um, in previous meets, they were talking about how um, you're an older uh, gymnast and – uh, you get you get sore easier. <laughs> they basically, that's basically the, along the lines of what they said. Um, but how are you both uh, feeling mentally and physically um, going into the last meet of the regular season? Yeah, um, I mean, they're right. I am 22 years old. It's pretty old for doing this sport, but I feel great. Um, I think we're doing a really go good job at managing me mentally and physically. So I feel good going into this last home meet. And yeah, I'm just taking it day by day. Same here. I kind of said it better myself, just day by day. Um, you can't look at it as the whole picture because you get overwhelmed. Uh, but um, just knowing that I have my team to back me up, especially taking that, that rest period, um, the last meet was something new for me. And I'm just glad my girls had my back on that. And, um, you know, just, again, taking it one day at a time because that's all we can do. Any other questions for Louisa or Makari? Thanks, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.